Happy Halloween. <laughs> hey everyone, SMG here. Welcome back to the video. Going to be checking out the new Bruce Stew called Turning 30. So make sure you go subscribe to Bruce Stew Films and make sure you watch the original link which will be down below. Let's get this started right now. Alright, so I guess it's that time of year again. My birthday has come and went, and here I am another year older. But this time it's different, because this time I turned 30. 30 years old? 30. Jesus Christ, somebody get this geriatric some Metamucil! That's right, I'm 30. I'm old now. I can officially go around telling kids stories about the olden times. Ah, uh, back yep. in my day, we only had 151 Pokemon. And if we wanted to go on the internet, we had to use dial-up. What's dial-up, Grandpa? I don't want to talk about it! Now I have to admit that I'm a little oh pessimistic when it comes to my birthday these days. I don't get all excited like when I was a kid. My Three's god, company. I'm 10 years old now. I have this here holographic Charizard. I have the world by its ass. But maybe I'm just being a big wussy crybaby. Maybe I just need to be a little bit more optimistic. My god, I'm 30 years old now. I still have this holographic Charizard. That means I still have the world by its ass. After all, it's not like I'm super <laughs> old like some people. Yeah, what are you complaining about? Wait till you get into your 70s. Where every time you take a piss, it feels like a goddamn colony of fire ants. Dances, tap dancing through your urethra. <laughs> but you know what? It's my party, and I'll cry if I want to. And if I want to sit in the dark yep. by myself and contemplate my own mortality for my 30th birthday, then by God, I'm going to do it. But luckily oh instead, that wonderful wife of mine decided to plan a surprise two-day trip on my birthday. And that trip was to Mackinac City up in Michigan. And if you're not familiar with Mackinac City, they have a bridge, they have an island, and they have about 9,000 different fud shops for your fat what? ass to try. Now, the hotel the we were fudge? staying at was right on the beach, which meant there was roughly 4,000 seagulls hanging outside of our back door like home alone too in this bitch but there was this one fat seagull <laughs> like that home stood alone out from too the rest of them. and his name was Derek i know his name was Derek because i named him Derek Derek the seagull and Derek's ass was the Derek alpha the male seagull. of all the seagulls and any food that was coming his way was all his he's attacking everybody that's his territory he's a fucking maniac look at him go <laughs> so i'm out on the beach feeding Derek's fat ass some leftover pizza that i had <laughs> and everything's going fine until all the other seagulls get pissed off cuz they're not getting any so what do they decide to do well they decide to shit on my head that's what they decide to do is that shit <laughs> Bird just shit on me? Oh, now there's bird shit on my hand. God damn it. All right, so maybe not a great start to the Mackinac trip, but it gets better. The next day, we decide to go to Mackinac Island. And since we've never been there before, our dumbasses think that there's a bridge that you can just drive across. We're Googling driving directions and shit. Well, this can't be right. It says here we have to drive a fucking submarine four miles through Lake Huron. Oh, wait a minute. There's a ferry. You're supposed to take a fucking boat across. We're stupid. So we take this ferry out yep. to Mackinac Island, and everything's going fine. That is, until we notice that there's a lady sitting by us that's breastfeeding a very, very large child. Oh my god, don't look now, but I think there's a lady breastfeeding a fucking nine-year-old. There's a what? Oh my god, what the what? hell? Now, I don't have a problem with breastfeeding in public, but this shit looked like a midget trying to get to second base, for Christ's sake. What, what the hell are you staring at? I'm on my lunch break. So needless to say, <laughs> we get the hell off the ferry as fast as we can. What? Uh, you want to get a beer? Uh, yeah, I think I need a beer after seeing that shit. So we go to a local Yeah, you might need a beer for that. And like all breweries, they have a bunch of weird beers that you can try. Ooh, this one tastes like a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> oh, God. This one tastes like a fucking Duracell battery. What the hell? We look over the table next to us, and guess Duracell who we see? Battery. That's right. It's Milky and her son. The kid's still got a fucking milk mustache still on his lip and shit. Okay, then. Time to leave. I'm not sticking around to watch this kid have dessert. Let's go. So now we decide to rent yep. mountain bikes to ride around the island. The only shit, problem was that my bike was messed up, and the gears would change all willy-nilly by themselves. So now I'm riding around the island looking like a drunk guy that doesn't know how to work a 10 speed. Wow, that guy must be wasted. Yeah, I wonder how many Duracell battery beers he had. Jesus <laughs> Christ. So we go riding around Mackinac Island with my bike that's possessed by the devil. And I have to say that Mackinac yep. Island is pretty as hell. The water's all crystal clear. This shit looks like a goddamn Bob Ross painting. You see, I'm used to the Let's dirty ass mommy river where trees. the water looks like chocolate milk and smells like dead people. But out here, it was like riding through a goddamn Lisa Frank folder. Holy hell, look at that unicorn on that path made out of rainbows. So after spending all yep. day on Mackinac's made up fairy tale island, we take the last ferry back to the mainland. And this is where we go to our final stop of the trip. A dark Don't be sky a dick. Park. Leave you the see, prior to off. the trip, my wife got me a telescope because, well, you know, I'm a big nerd and I like to look at planets yep. and shit. And a dark sky park is the best place to use a telescope because, well, it's dark. You can actually see shit up in the sky. It's not like your backyard back in the city where if you look up, you just see two dots and a fucking McDonald's sign. Yep. So I'm out there with this telescope. I'm trying to pretend to know what the hell I'm doing in front of the other people that actually do know what the hell they're doing. Everything was fine until it came time to leave the 
apart. Because now I have to disassemble What's a happening? whole goddamn Newtonian telescope in the pitch black. I mean, I brought a lantern with me to help me see, but you can't use any white light because, well, it's a dark sky park. No lights are allowed. So there I am, Helen wow. Kellering this thing back in the bag, when all of a sudden my lantern goes off. Now I got light shooting in every direction. Might as well have been a fucking flashbang going off. And of course this lantern wasn't an ordinary lantern. I had to get the 1000 lumens holy shit lantern. This thing looked like a fucking <laughs> bat signal in the sky for Christ's sake. I'm a dick. Hey, you stupid idiot. We're trying to look at planets and shit. And that right there is how we concluded our little trip to Mackinac City. By pissing off a bunch of nerds in the dark. So special yep. thanks to my wonderful wife for making my transition into my 30s as least depressing as possible. And if you're looking for thanks, a good wife. time, check out Mackinac City. Home of Derek the Seagull, the Duracell battery beer, and last but not least, the milk mustache of Mackinac Island. <laughs> Bruce, dude, that's dot funny. Com. Dot com. Alright guys, that's going to be the that's going to be it for today's episode of SMG001 Reacts. Make sure you make sure you watch the original link, subscribe to Bruce Do. Make sure you uh, like, subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later guys, thanks for watching. Deuces. Johnny.